All right, there's what we're going to start with. Going to replace the whole front axle in this thing, everything. We're just replacing the housing. So everything's got to come out of the housing, off the housing, stuck in a new housing, stuck in this Jeep. So first thing we're going to do is get up in there, get tires off, knock all the tie rods loose, shocks, trailing arms, um, and then we'll set it down on the ground and then take the last couple bolts out and pick the vehicle up away from it. All right, got the wheels off. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is take the calipers, the rotors, the caliper holders, and I'm going to hang them up on the frame. Uh, you want to make as little work as possible. Uh, ABS sensors, get them out of the way first because uh, you don't want to stretch or yank them. You know, knock your end links loose. We've got a new sway bar. Get your tie rods, you know. And what you do is you knock these things loose. Get them to the last thread and then beat the hell out of this with a sledgehammer right here. Same thing there, beat that with a sledgehammer. Uh, these you don't have to, they're just bolted. That's just bolted. Uh, stabilizer's bolted and the radius is bolted. Drive shaft we gotta get out. Then we'll go ahead and uh, we will take the knuckles off up here, we'll take the axles out and uh, then we'll set it down on the ground and pull the last couple of bolts out like that one right there. And just go ahead and let it fall. All right, I got everything hung up and taken loose. Axles. And you want to keep all your left stuff on the left side and the right stuff on the right side. Try and create as less amount of work as you can. An hour later, got everything tied up. It needs to be out of the way. The calipers hung up. The only thing holding it in right now is the shocks, spindles, axles. Things on the left. Everything's on the right. I got to smack this with a hammer and get that off. Got all my stuff lined up up there. And then I'm going to smack this with a hammer and get that off and drop this thing out of here. And that's what we're left with. This is why we took it apart. If you look in here, you can see it's moved. It's hard to tell. But this tube is... See the big gap? There's a gap up top. The tube has been knocked loose can't line it up. There's a new one. Yeah, these things ain't welded all the way around. They're just plug welded in four places. That's why they'll leak right there. The tubes are moved. They need to be welded and the truss put on it. Anyways, this one comes with two ball joints. There's a better view of the Jeep. It's only got 26,000 miles on it. It's basically a brand new Jeep. He had hit something with it and they had repaired it. And the body shop just overlooked the front end work. And uh, now we're fixing the front end. There it is back together chunk back in it. Got the grease on it. See where it was gouged. It's gonna hang it back up. Alright, we got it hung up in there. It's just sitting there. Get a lift and get it twisted around, get the trailing arms hooked up, and uh, get to putting parts on it. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You want to keep all your stuff organized. You want to keep all the left stuff on the left side. All the left bolts, left knuckle, um, the springs that don't matter, you know, left drive shaft, sway bar. We got a new sway bar, by the way. Those are the right knuckle, right bearing, right axle. You know, you want to just try and make your life as easy as possible when you're doing these things. You don't need to take everything out. You just need to disconnect enough to pull the unit out. You know, put your bolts back where you can so you don't... Uh, forget where they go and that's about it all right 
we got it stuffed in there and everything attached anyways except the new sway bar shocks links tie rod ends torsion bar springs spindles axles are in it that's all I got left at the pile of parts one two brake rotors that's it finish it tomorrow all right there it is everything hooked back up full of gear oil brakes back on uh, the only thing is we left the end links loose trailing arms top and bottom it's because when you set it down you have to tighten it up with the suspension in the neutral position or your what you call preloaded the suspension and that's no good on the bushings cotter pins and everything and uh, you can get some big old tires back on it and get it out of here there it is all back together on the ground